Hello everyone, Dr. Blade. I want to talk to you about a few things. I've had a couple of people, more than a couple, contact me about the tip of the day that they see on other people's forums or the new feeling they see on other people's forums. And I was going to stay away from this, but it has gotten to the point now where I'm getting bombarded with it and they want to know my view. So I'm going to give you my view on this. Personally, any teacher or instructor that has a new feeling, that has a new tip of the day, that has a new give this a try, just be leery of that. They may have a wealth of knowledge, but they may what we, what we, uh, what we call a tinkerer. A tinkerer is somebody that can go hit the ball the best they, the best they ever hit it in their life, and they still gonna tinker. Ben Hogan, looking for the magic move on the range at 70 plus years old and still looking for the secret, looking for the magic move. So that's all I can say. If you're dealing with an instructor or a YouTuber and every day there's a new feeling, there's a new tip, there's a new something you should try, be careful because you may be able to do that on the practice tee with one club in your hand from a perfect lie. I don't doubt that. If you hit 60, 70 balls from a perfect lie, you're going to be able to hit some really good shots. So what you feel and what you do is going to be totally different, as I always tell people. But take that philosophy to the golf course. Try to take eight, nine, ten different solutions to the golf course and apply it out here where it, where it counts. I have a simple philosophy. If I can't take it to the golf course, is it, if it doesn't improve my golf scores, I have no use for it. Get rid of it. I challenge you this, whatever you've heard from other instructors over the past years, throw 50% of it out the window and go play golf. I guarantee you, you'll cut yourself down to five or six keys that you remember them saying. The next week, throw another 25% out the window, and I guarantee you, you'll get down to those two to three core fundamental principles that allow you to recreate impact. And that's what it's all about. Look at the best players in the world. Let's look at Ricky Fowler. Ricky Fowler changed his swing over the past couple of years. The only thing he did was work on shallowing the swing. That's all he worked on. He became a better ball striker by working on that one single object, shallowing the swing so he can become more from inside to out. Same thing that we teach, inside the out swing. He didn't work on having your knees down to your ankles. He didn't work on standing tall. He didn't work on owner deviation. He didn't work on all these other things that really don't make a difference. They really don't. Once you work on the two to three core fundamentals, I guarantee you, you'll find your natural golf swing. And if you happen to stand a little bit more down in the, in the pocket than somebody else, as long as you apply your natural golf swing, you're gonna hit it. If you stand tall and that's who you naturally are, you're gonna play good golf. But I would be insane to take a player who stands tall and try to get him to bend his knees where he's just not a natural player no more. The object of being a good instructor is to take what comes to you and make them better at what they're already doing by not destroying their golf swing. Remember that anybody out there telling you that you need to do all these different things on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, just be leery of that. It's going to destroy your golf swing in the long run. You're going to look back and it's going to be two years later and you still have not had core fundamentals. Without core fundamentals, what are we doing in this game? Remember, we're limited to what we can do in this golf game by the design of the shaft and the club head. The design of the shaft and the club head already tells us 75% of what we can or cannot do. Now it's our job is to find out how to use this implement to best suit us. And I tell you, if you apply these core fundamentals, pivoting your weight to the target side, that removes rhythm, tempo, and timing because the pros get back to their target side without no problem. Keeping your shoulders closed, 
which is going to allow a shallow circular inside the outside swing that causes the shaft to flex. Staying as still as possible. The more still you maintain yourself, the more you minimize, the less you have to worry about moving parts. Timing, rhythm, get your hands back inside the out. So remember those type of things, and I guarantee you, if you apply the two to three, four, two to three core fundamental principles, you'll play better golf. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Share these videos, and I look forward to your comments. Remember, keep them in the fairway, but if you don't keep them in the fairway, keep grinding. Peace.